Hey, here we are again. This is Dan Amoro Stuff, and man, I got some cool stuff. I went to a single estate sale. Uh, with the last day of the sale, 50% off. I had seen pictures of it uh, yesterday. It had started on Thursday, went till today, Saturday. And uh, there was some really cool, mainly electronics radio stuff, which is what I pretty much live for, uh, for reselling and for collecting. So this is kind of a dual thing. Um, this is going to be a very hard one to decide what I'm going to sell and what I'm not. So, But there is some super, super cool stuff in here. Let's start off with just some of the little things. Um, <clears throat> this is a... Um, FM transmitter so it uh, you plug your device could be your phone could be a cassette player like it was in the old days uh, CD player whatever and it transmits to FM stations so you tune your radio to a specific FM channel and then all your music comes out of your FM radio so this is made by a company called C Crane C Crane is a very very popular uh, very uh, American company, I believe it's American. Uh, no, they're made in China. The Sea Crane Company is an American company that probably has this stuff made in China, but they they do pretty high end. Um, I paid two dollars for this thing, and uh, they're selling for thirty bucks out of the box, used for thirty bucks. So, I mean, this is cool, and I love this kind of stuff because the people that run the sales they don't really know a lot about this electronic stuff, and so you can go in there and you can get them pretty good actually this is another item this is also made by C crane and uh, it's a little dusty I just picked this stuff up so oh, this is you're seeing this as I'm unboxing it right now um, it's there's no dents no major scratches it's called the CC radio plus um, C cranes all of C cranes um, radios are always start with CC uh, for the C crane logo uh, this is like a weather uh, 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 AM, FM, TV, weather has multiple bands, so uh, it's digital, digital radio. I plugged it in at the place and it worked, but check this out. Okay, half price. I paid $2.50 for this, I can't believe it. And it works great, just for being a little dirty. has all kinds of battery, AC, has um, no batteries in it, which is cool because there's no leakage, battery acid leakage. So the guy who had this knew what he was doing. He stored all his stuff away without batteries in them. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at these going anywhere from forty to a hundred dollars. I mean, uh, so I, I don't know. Um, this is one that may be a keeper, but we're gonna see. <laughs> but I'll probably, put, I'll probably sell that since it was only two dollars and fifty cents. I'll probably sell that. One. Oh, let me let me throw in the wives things. The wife got one of that got this. This is the Miramar of California number nine bowl um, she paid five bucks for it thinking that we might be able to put it in the antique booth um, I don't know I'm seeing them sell for like 15 I'm not seeing this color though I was looking them up I only saw brown and blue I didn't see any uh, green okay, this is another kind of unique thing and I I haven't looked this one up and I don't know if you can see it says Max Factor Hollywood it's made out of metal uh, kind of an aluminum and steel it's an eyeliner pencil. It has lead. It has the eyeliner stuff pencil, I guess, in it. Then you twist it, and the pencil comes out, and whatever. So it's a makeup pencil. That that was kind of cool. I don't know how old this is. This kind of reminds me of something from the 50s or 60s, um, just the look of it. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I haven't even looked that up. I have no idea what that thing's worth. All right, now for the really good stuff. Uh, oh, <laughs> this. Okay, so it's a pen reel. This is a vintage box for a pen reel. And it's sitting there with the box open. It has a price of $5 on it. And it has the original paper that the reel was wrapped in. It has the manuals. It has accessories. But there's no reel. And what happened is this lady came in before me, bought the reel for $5, and left the box sitting there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. And like three other people were going, yeah, that box is probably worth as much as the reel is. So I, she just gave me the box for free. So I'm going to sell this box. I think I can get like 15 bucks for this box. I, unfortunately, I don't have a reel, a 140M reel that I could put in here. But um, I'll be like, I mean, I'm going to just sell 15, 20 bucks for the box. There's got to be a collector that's got it somewhere that, that wants it. So um, where else we at here? So put that over here. And we got some more goodies here. We got a whole box of 
uh, whole box of uh, microphones. And this is the star. The star of the show for microphones. This is an Aztatic Silver Eagle Model K. No, nope, it's not a Model K. It might be a Model K. Silver Eagle microphone. Um, push to talk here, push to talk here. Um, there is a screw missing here. Um, I paid half price at $37.50 for this. Um, I mean, I've seen these selling upwards to $150. So, based on the condition with the screw missing, I mean, I'm thinking I can at least get $90 to $100 bucks for this. I'm going to clean it up, shine it up. It's, there's no major scratches. It's just kind of dirty from sitting, and it was in a box. And um, anyhow, that's kind of a cool. That's a really cool find. I've had several of these before that I've sold for about eighty to ninety dollars years ago, but um, I think that's going to be that's a cool find. Here's another one. This is an, an older uh, Turner transistorized single side band. It's got a battery in it. There's no leakage, so the battery looks new. But this is like from the fifties. The cable's in good shape. Four prong plug, ham radio stuff. Right, so uh, push to talk. Paid fifteen dollars for this. Um, I think I can get forty to fifty for this. I think I've looked up some of the new ones, but at least forty for that. I could probably get for that. Here's another cool. Some of these I just got because they just look cool. They may be dirty and they may not be, you know, that desirable for use. But like, look at this. This is like, look at this thing, man. It's just got that vintage that that it just yells out. Uh, mid-century modern you know old cb old i don't know if it was cb but five bucks paid for five bucks for this so yeah uh, sure microphone sure still makes microphones got the old prong so this could be for cb or ham radio all this can be these plugs are all work on some of the, the larger model cb radios um that there now let's dig into some of these other things so we got some Got some handheld microphones, very cool, vintage-looking handheld microphones. So these have these both came from this one here is actually an avionics uh, out of an airplane. Nar uh, Narco makes Narco makes aviation uh, radios. So this came out of an airplane. Little push to talk thing, very cool. It's got the plug. This is the aviation plug. They use these quarter inch jacks for aviation radios. I mean, look at this. this is probably a ham radio. Telex, Turner, Road King 56. Thing about this, there's no plug on it, but most guys that want to use these can rewire these very, very easily. Did a little bit of cleanup. Five bucks, right? Like this. I paid uh, seven fifty. Um, seven fifty for this one. This is a Sure Brothers. The 60s, 50s, 60s model microphone just has that cool vintage look to it. Um, all the stuff I think I can do. I haven't looked any of these handheld mics up. Um, oh yeah, and I got this for 10 bucks. I don't know. I play harmonica, so I've always kind of drawn to harmonicas. But this was kind of cool because it was in a leather case. It's that's marked Honer. Um, it's a Golden Melody Honer, made in Germany. I'm going to douse it with Listerine <laughs> and every antibiotic uh, fluid that I can find and soak it for a while before I put that thing in my mouth, but um, I hope to be playing it. Uh, maybe I'll play it on one of my videos, who knows. <laughs> um, oh, another cool thing. Uh, I got there, I knew when I saw the pictures originally, the guy had a lot of ham radio equipment. He had a lot of actual ham radios. They were all gone. I figured they would be gone. Um, even at, at the prices that the estate sale was selling them for, they weren't full retail, but I figured someone would pay that. A, a ham radio operator would go in there and clean them out. But what was left for the half price stuff wasn't too bad, actually. This is a Kenwood SP430 external speaker. Got for 15 bucks. And I'm seeing these anywhere, 40 to $75. Uh, that's some wear, some scratches, has some stuff on it. Um, I haven't plugged this in yet, but I'm sure it works. These are probably, this was actually sitting on top of some of his radio equipment. So I'm 
probably guessing it's going to work. All right, here's another one now. I didn't look this one up, um, but because it's Kenwood, Kenwood is a really good high-end brand for radio equipment, ham radio operators. This is in the box for 30 bucks. This is with the manual. Even has the original receipt. Let me see if this is what he bought. Yep, MC85. He paid $144 for this. Uh, I'm trying to see a date. I just see March 31st. I don't see a date. Ham Radio Outlet down in San Diego, which is actually still there. I know that place. In uh, Fast Scan Research. So, he paid 155 bucks for it. Um, it is a microphone. Now it's got some wear, and it might just be because it's... I didn't take it all the way out of the box. I can't get it all out of the box. It's kind of hemmed in there right now, but here's the... Um, here's what it is, man. It's got like a panel console. It's got the levels. Here's your microphone. Put this in front of you. Plug this into your... Plug this into your radio. Push to talk here. You can lock it. You can change... I think it remotely changes the... Uh, uh, frequencies on your radio. That's probably what these ex some of the extra pins in here do. You probably got to put it in a Ken what works with a Kenwood radio. But the fact that it's used uh, and still in the box, I don't know. It's got to be worth more than 30 bucks. I know I can get more than 30 bucks. I don't even know if they make these anymore. That's the other thing. So I will do some research on this and when I sell it, we'll give you an update on it because I definitely will be selling this one. I don't have or use uh, CB radio equipment. I have a couple things that I keep just for if one of these days there's ever a zombie apocalypse I'll have some kind of communications to ward off uh, people from where the zombies are and all that find out where all the zombies are coming from and all that kind of stuff but anyhow so here's um I'm, I'm just joking guys okay <laughs> although I think it would be cool if the world ends by zombies that would be one way to go uh, anyhow here is put this back so I don't lose it these select antenna, select antenna. Um, pay ten dollars a piece for them. So what these are, and I have seen these around. Um, they're probably from like the '60s. So there's no plugs. You notice there's no holes. Nothing plugs into this. So you set this near your AM radio. It's only good for AM channels. And because the the way the and you've noticed that when you have an AM radio and you walk by it or you put your hand near it, it you you it uses you kind of as the antenna and the and the, the, the it gets louder or the signal comes in better just when you're near it. Well, that's this is the same principle. You set this; it's a coil. You set this on top, and um, these are I'm not sure the numbering what they exactly are if they're if they're. Uh, degrees um, in direction or if it's just a frequency so if your radio is set at a certain frequency if you're at 650 640 you, you tune this here and you'll get the uh, you'll get the frequency come it'll come in better in other words this is the coil in here is, is designed to grab the signals from that frequency and by setting this either on top of your radio or near your radio um, it, it improves your reception and so there you go, adjust the tuning knob. Let's see, maybe tell, maybe tell me what these are. It says that you should set this to be approximately six inches away from your radio. Fine tune radio, fine and fine retune the select antenna until the maximum results are obtained. So I got two of these, so uh, I probably will sell one and keep one for my collection and uh, add it to that. So anyhow, there's my goodies. Uh, some really cool electronic stuff. I don't usually rarely run into hauls like this but I keep my eye out for ham radio electronics radio stuff and uh, do my best to get in there so I think I'll do pretty well with most of this stuff yeah so that's it for for this haul video hope you enjoyed it um, and uh, I'll hope uh, talk some more believe me we'll be doing some more here pretty soon I still have stuff that I have un unpacked yet from last weekend that I need to do some videos on so so keep on there subscribe to the channel and keep up with what I got going on here it's really cool and also if you had any questions comments uh, if you've had some of this stuff and have experience with it let me know what your experience is with anything you got here so pretty cool alrighty thank you guys see you later